a bit of a late start for the March vlog. Um, the automatic shit fuckery with the Tumblr and WordPress is has not abated, and we are currently working on today's post. Uh, but I did get the TBRs up, and I'm doing middle grade March. The first book is going to be Wind Windrush Child by John Agard, illustrated by Sophie Bass, or Bass. Uh, but like the big theme for this month is like 20th century China, and also <laughs> Hannah Mae Wong, because uh, I really want to get to this, which is uh, Hannah Mae Wong performing the modern. It's, she's just a really interesting historical figure and I have one of her films that I didn't get around to watching so it just feels like a good thing to, to pair. Also it is the 20th century which we're, we're that's upside down. We're really going for Jung Chang this month um, and to be clear like one of the readathons that I was looking at doing this month was her storython, which is a uh, historical non-fiction, I think, readathon about women through history. It sounded really fun, but I didn't want to obligate myself to two readathons, uh, and that's where Jung Chang has come from. <laughs> but I would also be lying if I said. I wasn't a little bit intimidated by the fact I'd found like a second 20th century uh, Shanghai Chinese Carmilla retelling, which is something that I have been trying to write for a while and the research has not been going good. So yeah. So I got an Amazon delivery today, despite the fact that I haven't ordered anything. So I do in fact know what this is. I back Don't Touch This back in 2020, so I really wasn't expecting it to arrive now. Uh, it is a sci-fi and fantasy parenting anthology, and I thought that sounded fun. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember anything really about it, except that Ali de Bodar uh, had to pull out um, so I don't even know who's in it anymore, <laughs> besides, um, who's listed on the cover. <laughs> so we're going to ignore how close it is to Mother's Day and how bad I'm doing, uh, with that, because this is, this is really loose, um, and I think that's because I used the wrong needles. Uh, that is an eight. These are nine. This is like my grandmother's knitting needles. So I don't know how it maps onto current. But it should be this tight. So we'll see if this fixes it. Um, yeah.
so when I made a mistake, my second mistake was trying to take back the rule. Yeah, it's... I can't fix this. It's done. A little bit late in the day, but it's done. A hairband, a side-up money purse, a pouch. I don't think we're ever going to run out of this. Um, and also I'm getting a little bit worried now about what projects uh, mum could ask for that I'm not going to run out of wool for. So while technically not a middle grade March read, I just finished my day with Gong Gong, uh, which was quite sweet. Um, but I don't really think the story worked very well. It's very much a, you know, my grandpa and I don't speak the same language and then we go out and I learn to appreciate some things and spending time with him. Um, but I feel like if you have a grandkid with you and they're like pointing at their mouth and you go to a restaurant and you just buy tea, <laughs> like, you know, you know the kid's hungry. And so like when he pulls out the pork bun later, it's like, well, you're still a dick, <laughs> you know? Oh. Ready and... Oh. Ow. Sorry. I knew you'd hit me, I knew. I knew it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's so bad. Sickness aside, I know I have been slacking a little bit with middle grade March, but today I started the boy who was it the boy who met a whale by Nirvana Farouk, and I think that was possibly her second or third book. The first was the girl who stole an elephant, and I thought it was a little bit quick, but I remember liking it. And this is what giving up looks like. <laughs> I literally, I don't know where my plain black tops are, so we're just going to have to go with this. Who cares? Oh. That looks pretty solid. No? Just, I think the other one you used to should this. What about that one up at the back? I thought that looked an easy one to peel. Yeah. But I wait and see. Hit the scale, see.